Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting. Today we're going to be testing out the Orion XS and Orion XS 1400 and comparing their temperatures and performance with a fan and without a fan to see if one is beneficial. So the Orion XS has built in smarts to where if it gets too hot, it will reduce its output in charging your lithium or other battery to avoid overheating itself. But we're hoping that if we just cool it down with a fan, that won't happen. And maybe we'll find out that we don't need a fan at all. We're also gonna be testing out our new um, Orion XS fan adapter. So this is gonna come as a kit. It's got a temperature sensor built in, so the fan's gonna automatically turn on at a certain temperature and off at a certain temperature, and hopefully keep the unit cool and at its tip-top performance. So we're gonna be taking some measurements here. I've got my truck hooked up to this power pole here, and then each Orion XS has an equal length, equal gauge wire. They've got the same settings programmed into them, so that they'll both be running at full capacity. So we'll see how much they heat up. Also wanted to point out, we've got a empty lithium battery connected to both Orions, a separate battery on each unit. All right, so we're starting off with the Orion XS units first. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So we noticed we feel some airflow from this fan ventilating the left Orion, so we're gonna screw a piece of aluminum in there to block that. So the temperature before we installed the aluminum here kind of had plateaued around 125 degrees Fahrenheit. About 60 seconds after putting this aluminum in, temperature is now 132 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was definitely being ventilated by this unit. All right, so we've finished after an hour of testing. The temperature's not exactly leveled off on this one. It is still rising slowly, but we just don't have that much more time to put into this. And uh, this one has not changed at all from about 86 degrees. It's pretty much been there the entire test. So this one's leveled off. I can touch the back of the unit with my finger. It is warm, but it's definitely not burning. I can leave my finger there. And this unit right here, I can put my finger there for about a second before I gotta pull it off. So very hot, but neither unit has ramped down in performance. They're both at 50 amps. They've been at 50 amps the whole time. I do think that a lot of you are installing the Orion XS in a flat position in an enclosed box with no ventilation at all. That would be much more important to use a fan on. We're in an air conditioned room where it's sitting upright with plenty of air flowing around it. But I think it's clear, it's obvious that the 50 plus degree temperature differential um, offered by the fan definitely makes it worth it. Everything is a little bit better, a little bit safer when it's cooler. So um, yeah, we're gonna move on to testing the XS 1400 now and see how that goes. The XS 1400 has heat sinks on the back, so the fan may not be as necessary. All right, we're gonna get started with the same exact setup with the XS 1400s now. Again, they do have a heat sink on the back, so I expect their temperatures to be a bit lower uh, for both. Note that we're using 12 volt batteries here for the input and the output. So, you know, the Orion XS 1400 is capable of charging a 24 volt battery. Um, we're not gonna be using that today. I could imagine that would maybe keep their temperature even a little bit lower, but I'm not sure. We'd have to test it to find out. All right, so we're just finishing up our testing here. This is cooling down and it's still to the point where I can touch it for a few seconds, but I definitely don't wanna leave my fingers on it. Um, it's a few degrees cooler than the XS. Definitely that heat sink helps a lot, but we're talking about mm, less than a 10 degree difference between the maximum temperature after an hour of the XS 1400 versus the XS. So yes, the heat sink helped, but I don't think it helped enough to where I would say you don't want a fan on this. Um, this pretty much reached a little over 100 degrees and then dropped right down to about 85, 86 degrees, just like the other one. So again, if you wanna keep your components cool, keep them about room temperature, 
so they operate at the highest efficiency, and never ramp down in power output, I highly suggest putting a fan on them. So this Orion fan adapter is something that we've designed and 3D printed in-house here. Our store is the only place you can get it. We're gonna link it in the description. If you already have the Orion XS or XS 1400, we do sell the fan adapter separately and then we'll provide you with the glue that you need to mount the temperature sensor on the Orion. Otherwise, we can sell you the fan adapter and the Orion as a discounted bundle. The fan adapter will be a few bucks cheaper when you buy the Orion along with it.